Are you ready to up your game so you can win more listings? You may wanna check out this episode because we're going into the degrees of separation. So if you're ready to level up your game around the listing presentation, here's the thing, you wanna know your degrees of separation. Now, many agents today that I know who are losing listings, they're losing them because they're not offering anything of value. So forget points of difference, think about points of value. What are at least two points of value that you can bring to the table in a listing presentation? So one of the things that I've been working with my clients just recently is talking about um, list to launch strategy. But here's the thing, it's not just about telling them this is my list to launch strategy, it's actually about having the language, the words, because words can create a level of influence and also can create some persuasion. So think about, you know, I talk a lot about this NLP, um, Neuro Linguistic Programming. So Neuro Linguistic Programming is a form of communication. I'm not gonna go in depth on this episode, but you can, in one of my other episodes, I'll certainly go into it. But here's the thing, number one, is the type of language that I would start using is going, so Mr. and Mrs. Seller, um, once you list your home with me, um, you'll find there are probably two main uh, points of value that I bring that my clients have found when they've sold their home through me. The first main value that I wanna share with you is our Lynch to Launch strategy. And what I mean by that is that we're not the type of agent that will you know, wait for the market, we actually go to the market. Traditionally, many agents will list a property and then just wait to hit the button when it launches. Um, we've got a series of steps that we wanna create some urgency, create some competition, create some awareness around your property before the launch date. So Mr. and Mrs. Seller, the first thing that we wanna do is in our list to launch strategy is step number one. So step number one that I wanna do is bring our VIP first seven. Yes, and you're probably thinking, what does it mean by the first seven? So over the years of selling real estate, one thing I do know is the person that ended up buying the property was generally one of the first seven people that turned up. So knowing the algorithms and buyer behavior that you know when someone is a red hot buyer, they're probably gonna be one of the first seven people that come through the home. Now, I've compiled these first seven people through other properties of similar features and benefits like your home, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, and I'm gonna bring those first seven before we actually launch, which I call a VIP viewing. The second step, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, is we're gonna contact all the buyer agents. So the buyer agents in Sydney, I'm gonna reach out to them and tell them every bit about your home and see if they've got some clients that they would love to introduce to the property. So that's step number two. Step number three is we have what we call a team caravan. So when you list your home with me, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, it's simple. You're not just employing me, but you're employing my office and my team. And people in my team have buyers that they may be working with that could be looking for a home just like yours. So we'll do a team caravan on Wednesday morning between 8.30 and 10.30 and they'll have a look at your home, and in that period, they may reach out to some of the buyers that they're currently working with and invite them to the VIP viewing, which I'm gonna get to in a moment. The fourth thing, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, is what we're gonna do is actually have that VIP viewing. If it's okay with you, would you be okay if we did a VIP viewing this Saturday between 10 and 10.30? Now, hopefully they'll say, yes, we have nothing on. That's fine, bring those VIP buyers through get the buyer agents to bring their people and have people on my team that I work with in the office to bring their buyers through. Now, from that Mr. and Mrs. Seller, after the VIP viewing, I want us to literally get some feedback from those people and we may actually get some offers on your home. And here's the thing, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, if we get a really good premium offer on your property, we may even look at considering taking that offer before we actually launch. But also we can analyze the feedback so we can ensure that we hit that sweet spot in terms of the price guide before we go on the launch date to the marketplace because it's all about the sweet spot today. And then finally, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, what we do wanna do is have that launch date secured. And that's two weeks away from today's date. 
In the meantime, we'll have photos done, we'll get the floor plan, we'll get the video, we'll get our great friend Clinton from sprinkler.media to come down and record your beautiful home and make a sexy, edgy film around it. But here's the thing, once we do all that Mr. and Mrs. Seller, we've already created some urgency, created some interest on your home, and that's why other clients just like you have seen a value in working with us. So here's the question you need to ask yourself. What is your degree of separation in this marketplace? What is your point of value in your listing presentation when you're sitting in front of a prospective seller? If you don't have one, you're all the same. And you know what happens then? People just go to the cheapest agent versus the agent that actually brings some value and you get paid for what you do in your profession. So remember guys, this is what you need to know. Ideas mean nothing without execution. <laughs> That's weird. That's going to look like, who's this monkey? <laughs> So you guys know that's where we actually do the intro. That's it, exactly. Yeah, that's it, exactly.